Welcome to OCP TV, the newsroom for the Open Compute Project Foundation. I'm Laura Noland at the 2020 OCP Virtual Summit. Joining me today is David Craig, CEO of Isotope, and Rob Bunger, Liquid Cooling Program Director of Schneider Electric. Welcome to OCP TV, both of you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's great to be here. Well, let's start out by talking about Isotope and Schneider Electric. Tell our viewers what you both do. Okay, so I, Isotope is a British-based company that has developed a whole set of liquid cooling technologies that allow us to cool the whole platform. So storage servers, everything switches uh, from hyperscale to the edge. So we can go across the whole estate. And we've developed a partnership with Schneider Electric over these last several years. We've worked together very carefully and closely. And uh, we have a global relationship with them and they bring uh, huge capability and reach for us with their amazing you know, customer base and, and uh, interaction with us. Yep. Hi, uh, Rob Bunger, uh, Schneider Electric. And Schneider Electric's a global company uh, helping you make the most of your, your energy. And so uh, the division I'm part of uh, focuses on data center infrastructure. So everything from uh, powering and cooling to uh, rack infrastructure to monitoring control of, of data centers. Um, and, uh, you know, again, uh, uh, working with uh, companies like Isotope to help, uh, help bring new technologies uh, to the market. All right, exciting stuff, a great partnership already. Yeah. Uh, tell us, you're sponsoring the summit this year. Why did you think it was important to be a part of the sponsorship of the virtual summit? Yeah, I think um, th three reasons really. So one, it's, it's a really strong audience to talk to technologies about. So that, that was important to us. And uh, actually we're spending a lot of time in the Bay Area. So when the physical conference was on, San Jose made a ton of, uh, a ton of sense. Uh, there, but but partly that. The second thing is certainly from an isotope point of view, and I know this is true of Schneider, is that there's lots of different groups and industry types trying to operate, and we, we really kind of doubled down and focused on the ones that we thought made the most difference to the industry, and where it wasn't just a marketing event, it was really actually trying to drive the industry forward and enhance the whole the, the whole approach that we had. Uh, so with that, we kind of tend to focus on our involvement in OCP and in ASHRAE. We see them as the, the most important ones and ones that can develop useful standards. And then the third part of it is uh, related to the work we do on the edge is that OCP has a huge strength inside digital giants and hyperscale data centers, but it could have a very strong offering into telecom and other kind of industries on the edge. The supply chain isn't really geared towards delivering the, the protection as well as the cooling that you need in there. And we, we have a real platform that allows you to kind of leap uh, from the, the straightforward data center where you can use our stuff we have done, but you can also build the capability and the capacity to deliver to the edge with minimal change to the equipment you have. We believe that's an opportunity for people to really open up whole new markets. Yeah. And uh, you know, to, to echo what David said uh, on the on the audience, so uh, you know, some of the smartest folks in the uh, in the IT and data center industry end up attending this conference. And um, you know, we've participated Schneider uh, for for a number of years and have been members of OCP since 2014. Uh, so we're always excited to uh, you know uh, engage with this type of audience and uh, have some two way two way learning. What do you have to take away from the summit this year with your collaboration that you guys both uh, stated that you're excited about, you're part of the sponsorship, you're really involved in the community. So at this event, what do you hope to bring back? So uh, will I go first, Rob? That... Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Okay, great. So I think inevitably a, a, a huge part of these conferences are that, you know, back to Rob's point about there's a, there's a room full of super smart people here, if you like, or many rooms full of the current environment. But we, we get to learn a lot about good and best practice. And I think that always helps any company to get better knowing where we're going with that stuff. Invariably, being able to share and communicate better those things that we do makes, uh, makes selling things easier. That's why we're all kind of here. 
uh, but it's useful to be able to do so in a, in a way that um, accesses the best practice that sits there. Uh, so our, our key takeaways, we love to learn and we're really keen to get that from it. And then those opportunities that it does to be able to share better with customers and partners, uh, how we can help the, the whole ecosystem, that's certainly our, our yeah. objective. It, and, you know, although we were disappointed with, you know, canceling of the live event, but, you know, very understandable, uh, you know, we're in a new world and, and um, this virtual conference uh, it looks like a, a very interesting way to, to actually engage with the community, not over just a, a two day period, but, but throughout the year. So uh, we're very interested in actually learning how that uh, engagement can, can happen and, and again, try to reach more people. And again, get great feedback from uh, from this community. Yeah. So during the event, do you have any news to share? Anything happening with Isotope and Schneider that you're going to be uh, sharing that you can share with us now, and even more so at the event? Yeah, we, we we're constantly sharing good news. Um, it, it, this is a fast moving space, and we we have some really exciting projects that we're already working on actually with OCP technology, but we're, we're ground under some non-disclosure agreements that can't name names, but we're doing amazing stuff with some of the, uh, some of the biggest and best inside OCP. But over and above that, we did want to show a, a platform we call Cool2, which is a completely server agnostic platform, which allows us to take everything from GPU uh, to, to standard servers all the way through to the edge. Uh, to deploy stuff in, in micro data center formats with minimal change. So we were going to really show that off. Um, and I think with that, a lot of the work we've done as an organization, we have already liquid cooled for key customers, the entire OCP stack. So, you know, servers, GPUs, disk storage, switches, you name it, we've, we've, we've cooled a lot. It's just we haven't actually shown it in the broad market yet. But this was a first real uh, come to market that where people can work with us, with Schneider, and importantly also with our integrated partner Avnet, who are a really key part of the whole the whole journey with us. Yeah, and and one of the biggest uh, with regards to technology that um, that Isotope is is developing a big stumbling block across the whole industry has been the industrialization and, and getting solutions to the market. Um, and, and Schneider uh, is, uh, you know, very excited to work with Isotope as a startup company because it really brings together, you know, this great nimble uh, small company with some great ideas and uh, we're able to leverage our reach across the market and industrialization to try to bring, you know, these type of things faster to the market than they would be, you know, if we worked on our own individually. And so, you know, we're trying to emphasize this, uh, this partnership uh, to let folks know that, uh, you know, this, this stuff is, is, is available and, uh, you know, you, you can get this great stuff from Isotope, uh, you know, with, uh, with the help of Schneider. Liquid cooling is a trending topic. So why is that important to focus on right now? I guess there's uh, there's kind of five core reasons to why liquid cooling is really happening now. And it's definitely moved from, if it happens to, to, to when, and that when is, is accelerating hugely. So the first thing is that the chips are getting hotter. We, we really have a quantum leap now in the, the heat that's generated there. So there's a whole pile of chips that can only be liquid cooled and, and they're just gonna become much more uh, prevalent. I, over and above that, people are increasingly aware of the energy and the water that we consume in cooling our electronics down and liquid cooling massively cuts the amount of energy and the water that we use. And, and increasingly what we're finding also is that space and the, the cost of built space is becoming a big issue for people, particularly as we develop in emerging economies um, and we try to deploy electronics into cities and city centers. So the space reduction that liquid cooling offers is a huge and significant benefit there. And the kind of final one is increasingly we're deploying electronics into harsh environments. So uh, unique to the whole kind of isotope Schneider offering, what we bring with in our chassis level immersion is we're completely impervious to dust, heat and humidity. So it, it means that we can do lower cost, better, smarter cooling. We can give protection to electronics uh, and, and we can cope with those increases in thermal load in servers that are coming into the next generation. 
Yeah. And, and when you look at uh, the, some of the missions of, of open compute, uh, which is, uh, you know, deploying things at scale, highly efficient. Um, when you think of scale, most people think of uh, large data centers, you know, operating at massive scale and large data centers. But what's happening right now is the scale's happening at the edge of the network. And so how do you efficiently and reliably deploy uh, IT equipment at the far edge or near edge? Um, and, and, and the liquid cooling uh, is able to solve a lot of the challenges that we have with regards to, to those two things, uh, you know, I'd say reliability and efficiency. And, um, and, and again, that's, those are some of the important reasons why folks are looking at this technology to try to solve those issues. Very exciting. Yeah, if, I, if I could add, we really are the technology that, that kind of makes it possible to go to the edge. Doing computing at the edge is really scary, right? There's a lot of environmental issues, there are service and support issues, and uniquely by being able to bring stuff into chassis level, which is, which is an isotope uniqueness, uh, cures those problems. So we become protection at the edge as well as cooling at the edge, and, it, and it's really important for people to understand that. And it's, it, it takes away the problems that people have, just cooling in air and such like that. Well, I feel like we're just getting started. There's so much more to, to talk about on this topic with both of you. So where can our viewers go to learn more about Isotope and Schneider Electric and all of your initiatives? Great. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll start on this one. So we are attending the, uh, the virtual OCP summit. We'll have a booth there. And uh, we're gonna have basically the experts in this technology and what's happening here uh, at the booth. So you can come in live chat and um, you know, visit us and we're gonna have assets that, that, uh, that explains the technology and, and what, we're, what we're trying to achieve here. Um, and uh, I don't know, David, you know, where can they yeah, get absolutely. it? Perfect answer. Uh, perfect answer as ever, you know, www.se.com, www.isotope.com, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all of those things. I don't think we've got an Instagram account, but all of that stuff. We'll be there. Perfect. Well, it was so wonderful to talk to both of you today. Um, it, was, it was such a pleasure. We thank you so much for your time. David and Rob, thank you for joining us here on OCP TV. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's been a treat. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you, viewers, for tuning into OCP TV. Enjoy the virtual show. <laughs>